Bienvenue dans Médiatique, l'émission d'information proposée par Ornelheim. Take back your power. That was the motto of a man, Bob Beck, who invented a small device that can help people heal from infections. And our special guest today to talk about that is Bojida Griltz. Hello, hello. Hello. You hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing, I would like to know how you pronounce your name exactly. Uh, Božidar. Bo Slovenian, it's Božidar. Božidar, okay. Božidar, yeah. And, and it means it mean, uh, gift of God. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> Quite yeah, a name. Yeah. My, 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 my mom usually said uh, at the time a gift of devil, not a God. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, mothers are like this sometimes. So Božidar. And uh, the last name? Gr oh, Grilts. 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 Okay. Yeah, Bo because Bojidar I have grilz. C at the end, and usually people uh, call it uh, like, like Kappa, Grilk, but uh -huh. it's Grilts. Grilts. Okay. Hello, Bojidar. Uh, hi, hi. Hi from Slovenia. So, um, for a start, could you just tell us uh, where you live, where you're from, and what you do for a living? Uh, I live in Slovenia. It's a little country here near Italy, uh, and I'm a professional hypnotist, hypnotherapist. Okay, so that's so, my that's my base base uh, base base work. Okay, so uh, you you're helping people to heal problems, to solve problems in their lives through hypnosis. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the primary idea, and also I'm a, a hypno. Uh, I'm a trainer, trainer of uh, hypnosis. Yeah, I have my own own training center here from 2008 here in Slovenia, okay. in Italy and also in Croatia. Okay, so you teach people how to become hypnotherapists? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I do it a lot. Okay. Uh, have you always worked in this line of uh, work, like helping people and kind of uh, things related to health? Uh, not not exactly. Uh, just um, okay. I'm in the field of hypnosis uh, for my uh, for the 20 years now. It's 20 years as a hypnotherapist. Before I was a magician and a stage hypnotist. So I used hypnosis to, to make fun of people. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm I'm to, to help them. So maybe yeah. your mother was right to say it was a gift of the devil at the time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. possible, yeah. So, could you tell me how you you came to hear about Bob Beck and his work? Okay. Um yeah, that was really interesting because um uh, I was doing a lot of hypnosis and uh, um, uh, the, the, the problem was winter. Uh, when it was a winter and a little bit cold, uh, I received a lot of clients that they were uh, a little bit ill, maybe with a cold and so on. And then I discovered that uh, then uh, when when cl client uh, left my office, I go to those vir viruses huh? that's that's the first reason and the second reason was my skin skin problem uh, psoriasis uh, i hope i said it right psoriasis mm -hmm. uh, and those two ideas uh, get me on google and make a lot of search uh, i am also an electrician i do a lot of electronic in my life so i discovered bob beck uh, before bob beck i worked with hulda clark uh, I, I was interested in her work. I made also the device, uh, the zapper, the Hulda Clark zapper, but it, it didn't work for me. So I went on and I discovered Bob Beck device on the web. I made the device for me. And uh, okay, the skin, the psoriasis, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, is the same. But I saw that my, my health improved a lot. You know, no more cold and so on. But because I'm in the field in hypnosis, Initially, initially, I I thought that maybe maybe it's uh, only a placebo. Yeah, understand that. Just that. Maybe it's placebo. Yeah, because that's its suggestion. You know, it's a, a placebo. It's really, uh, really, um, uh, in reality, placebo is deep hypnosis. So because of that, I bought a microscope and I checked my blood under the so-called dark field microscopy. And uh, uh, I used the device. I, I checked my blood before using the device, and 
after using the device after two hours and the difference was enormous. Uh, you, you can see it on your eyes, on, on naked eyes, you can see the difference in two hours using the Bob device. And uh, for me, that, that was enough a proof. So I, I made a kit complete, uh, I built a web page and people initiated to, to buy the device. Okay. It was 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, we were talking about the differences you saw on the in the microscope on your own blood. Yes. Could you expl yeah. uh, explain a little more what kind of difference you could see? Uh, the difference is that when you when you check your blood and your plasma, I don't know how to call it, uh, you can see a lot of moving site uh, of viruses. You can see a lot of moving inside the plasma. You know, uh, with the naked eye, you can see a lot, a lot of moving and uh, uh, that was my idea that that stuff that it's moving that uh, in, in my plasma, <laughs> that's some kind of wild, no, not good stuff. Okay, you but saw after, you saw things after, that you didn't really indi identify, but you thought that where well, you saw things moving in the blood, that could be uh, germs or things like that. Uh, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. My idea is because I, I made a little bit of uh, um, uh, discoveries. Uh, I, I went on with also dark dark field microscopy, uh, and uh, I checked uh, a lot of sites and so on. And I, um, it's it's possible um, to tell from the blood uh, what's happening inside. So, but after two hours, all that movement stopped. Okay. Pro, uh, exactly, it was uh, like it was freeze. That's uh, really, it's crazy. When you check it, it's crazy. And if people in France have some possibility to, to check uh, the, 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 the blood under the, the dark field microscope, it's, it's really a nice experience. Yeah, I guess so, but not any every p people has a microscope at home, so I think it's No, it's but you have a lot of offer. I don't know in France how it is, but here in Slovenia, okay, I'm the only one here in Slovenia, but in in uh, United States it's uh, pretty common to do it. Uh, England also, in England you have a lot of uh, I don't know. Really I didn't do well, any research, but maybe it is it's possible. Nowadays are cheap this microscope. I paid a lot of money for my mine uh, from a doctor here. In Slovenia, but you, you can do it. Well, I, I've seen on the web uh, some people explaining how to turn a, an ordinary microscope in a black uh, field uh, microscope ah, black field. Ah, with, with ah, something that's okay. not very difficult. But I didn't do it because I didn't feel like I needed to do that. But I, I, I know uh -huh. there are some ways to turn an, an ordinary microscope in a black field uh, microscope. So you did that for uh, the first time. It was to to help yourself to to be better, uh, yes. not to catch every yes. cold. Uh, and the peop the the people would yeah. just uh, nicely throw at you when you when you hypnose uh, hypnotize them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, well, you said you had the website and you're doing the the device for other people. And right. and the first time you you just offered the kit so people could do the device themselves. Um, yeah. And uh, did it work? Did people buy the kit? Was um, it was a little bit difficult uh, because the, my first offer was uh, because I saw that the problem on 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 this scale of a Bob Beck device um, uh, because you need a box, you need a lot of uh, electronic equipment and so on, and it's really difficult to if you want to do it by yourself, you mo you must go on internet uh, and then buy a lot of stuff from different places. And my idea was to offer all all together. You just need to solder. But the problem is that people who doesn't know who how to solder bought the device because they like it, and then made a mess and they complained it doesn't work. But it's not true because a lot of devices was made from my 11 years in the in that period, 11 years uh, daughter, uh, and uh, every single time the device worked. So. It's working. Yeah. The problem is maybe just for the listeners that my first offer was on uh, American eBay. You know eBay? Yeah, yeah, we know eBay. Yeah, for selling. Yeah, yeah, for selling the devices, and they kicked me out after a month because it's illegal. Yeah, th it this is a problem illegal. of uh, illegal practice of medicine or something like that, I guess. Yeah, after a month, they kicked me out. But it's it's crazy because now, today, if you go on eBay, you have 15, maybe 50 devices of Bobek there. 
But then, 10 years ago, they kicked me out and I said, whoa, that's strange. I built my own website and now there it is and uh, it's selling very well. I Really, I sell over, all over the world. Okay. Uh, I have to say there that your device is not very expensive. If you compare it to some other companies who do the make the devices, there's a Canadian company, which I won't tell the name, yeah. but they're yeah. selling yeah. it for more than 300 euros and yeah. yours is about how, how, how much do you sell your device? It's uh, $79 if I'm not mistaken uh, the idea was exactly that to offer to offer to people a uh, 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 cheap device because if you are checking uh, Bob Beck lecture uh, that is free on the website uh, he mentioned that you can uh, build it yourself and his price was very similar to mine built built one yeah of course that's that brings me to uh, to Bob Beck let's talk about this man because uh, I must say he's, he's a really extraordinary man who never made one cent uh, uh, with his discovery he didn't get rich over this but he yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and the spirit of yeah. Bob Beck what what was his uh, his spirit when he did his conference and everything because you you've watched I guess a lot of things he said and you've been on his website and and can you yes. talk to us about Bob Beck As I can see it, it was just a very honest, honest, honest person and a researcher. That's all. He saw that the discovery from two doctors, when they discover if you took out the blood from, the, from, from a people, from a person, and you put a regular battery inside that blood and you do just a little bit of electrolysis on that blood, that that electrolysis kills all the viruses and fungi and so on. Uh, but he was a really practical man, and uh, at the end he said, okay, why, why, why took the, the, the blood out? Uh, we can do it uh, with the blood in. So um, this, this discovery was uh, so efficient. But he is so clever, and, or he was so clever, not to do the business with his device because in America it's really, it's really hard to do uh, business uh, with these um, hmm, alternative devices. Uh, you could have a lot of problems. Yeah, of course. Uh, because I, I am seeing uh, till now, uh, not often, but sometimes when I send the device uh, with a quick post, like um, if I can say it, FedEx or something else, uh, several times they come back uh, because it's illegal uh, uh, of, because of the American FDA. Okay, so that man, he, uh, for years and years, he, uh, he went around and, and gave uh, conferences, speeches yes, to talk about yes, his device. Yes. And, and um, he had a motto, uh, he was um, take back your uh, power. Take back your power, that's right. Yeah, yeah. can you yeah. talk about he this see motto? His motto? Yeah, can you talk about this motto a little more, what it means and, and how it is different from what you see uh, around with people, uh, with all the big companies selling drugs and everything? What, what, what's in this motto, take back your power? Yeah, because the... Huh. The problem is because he, he worked a lot with people with cancer and AIDS and so on. And he saw that you can, you can destroy the cancer with this uh, device for a few dollars. Uh, and uh, the problem with the cancer, I don't know how it's in the world, but in the United States, you can't, can, cannot treat the cancer with those uh, strange devices because the cancer is under, under protection of, of medicine. Well, it's the yeah, same because, here. It's yeah? the same here. I mean, uh, if you, uh, that's why we won't say that it cures cancer. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no, if we say no, that, God, we can no, have God, big no, problems. No, no, no. It's not curing cancer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it is not. Yeah, we can't say it. No, no. He had a great result, uh, but uh, uh, that, that's taking back the power, you know. Taking back the power, just don't leave it everything to doctors. Do yourself what you can do. That, that's an idea from Bob. Mm. And so the the, the, the patients, uh, the people who experience uh, the, the uh, Bob Beck's device, Um, do they uh, come back to you after that and tell you if they, they had some improvement by using this, uh, this device? 
Yes, the people I know here in Slovenia, oh, my my clients and my friends and so on, uh, w- which they use the device, they are fascinated with the device. Yeah, but I I I have a lot of um, hmm, how how can you call it uh, reply from my clients all over the world, uh, which are willing to maybe send me a letter or something else, uh, and I I can see they they use the device for all all. Um, I don't know all the pro- all the problems. The the last one was really strange because uh, the man said that he's using the device for uh, chronic uh, fatigue. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's yeah, not surprising. He, that's not surprising because if chronic uh, it's fa- not. No. no, it's not because ah. chronic, chronic fatigue. Uh, nobody really knows what, what where it comes from, but there is a lot of uh, possibility that it comes from hidden infections. In fact, and that maybe, ha- maybe, and so- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, it was a new one for me. Okay, but uh, uh, on, on on the other hand, I, I the first thing that I noticed when I use the device, I use it now not every day, but maybe once or two a uh, 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 year. I made uh, some kind of therapy on me, you know, for fourteen days, three weeks, so on. But I I I I, I discovered the first thing that I discovered it's increasing of energy. That's right. That, that's true. That's exactly yeah, I, what... I'm more productive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's what people tell me here because I we have as, ah. I, as I told you we have a we have a, our own Bob Beck project and and many yeah, people. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And most of them say it's almost immediate. What I realize is that when I use the device, uh, after that I I, I have a, a, a gain of energy. I feel better. I feel more oh, strong. Great. And that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what comes Ener- first. Energized, energized. Yeah, yeah energized. Right. Exactly. Uh, I have a website. I have a uh, open, open uh, comments there, and they can comment. And uh, yes, they are using for lot of things. The only problem maybe is because sometimes they ask me, okay, if this will cure my disease. I'm not a doctor, so I, I can't really talk about curing anything. Okay, this is not a cure. It's an experimental device. I like it a lot. I use it a lot. Uh, the only thing maybe uh, because my daughter is 16. Uh, and I don't uh, want her to use the device because he's a child and he, she has his own immune system that it's uh, developing, you know. I understand. And until she is 18, I don't want her to use the device. Yeah, maybe if she, she, she will ill, she, she was ill, really seriously ill, th- th- that's another thing. But now, no. It's an experiment anyway that one does on his own health and it must Absolutely. be a, a, a decision yeah. that is taken by an adult who knows what he's doing and taking his own risks. Mm-hmm. 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 That's right, that's right. Uh, so yeah. to come back to the, the range of... Uh, of uh, Things that can do, yeah. uh, back, the things that he can do. The, the idea is that if anything is due to uh, a germ, would it be a virus or a bacteria? Uh, the device would uh, weaken the bacteria and and viruses, and then the health can improve because the immune immune system is helped out of uh, a situation where where it was overwhelmed by the by the bacteria and viruses. That that's the the ideas. So as there are lots of um, illnesses that we don't really know the cause. In fact, and if that might be a virus or a bacteria that we don't know, Bob then Bob Beck's device could help. That's that's the idea. Um, and uh, I'd like to ask some questions about how you manage all these orders. Are you? Uh, do you make all the devices yourself, or do you have people to help you? How many people? How does it work? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, no. The, and initially, it was a hobby. It was a hobby, but afterwards, because I have also hypnosis and other projects, I, I couldn't do it uh, all myself. Uh, initially, uh, I, I, I had help from my daughter. Uh, because they like to, to solder, you know, mm-hmm. it's really funny. Uh, and I was uh, putting the device together, but now I have uh, help from from outside. Yeah, I have a partner in my business, and he's doing all the work because, uh, you know, you must uh, email uh, FedEx, and uh, a, l- a lot of stuff is going on when when you try to to send the, the device outside. In Europe, it's not a problem, but when you are sending outside, a lot of papers you must do. Yeah, and uh, would yeah. you say do you sell most of your devices in the United States, or do you sell many in Europe? How how does it go around the world like this? Oh, 
yeah, to be honest, uh, I think, on my opinion, 72, no, 80 to 90 percent is going to the uh, United States. Uh, yeah, here in Europe, people don't know exactly uh, Bob Beck because uh, he was in America. I don't know why. 10, well, maybe 20 percent I'm selling here in, no, in Europe, uh, I don't know, maybe 5 percent. No, no, not too much, really. Okay. Yeah, in England, my- uh, France, uh, Germany, Austria, Slovenia also, and, and Russia also, but uh, others, uh, Australia a lot, America, it's 80, 80, 90 percent goes to to United States. Uh, one of the reasons to just be that most of the the speeches and the, and the Bob Beck official uh, website are not translated in French, and French people, for example, example don't um, speak english yeah, that's a, the yeah, main reason yeah, i guess yeah, yeah. Um, it's possible it's possible yeah 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 i agree it's possible yeah somebody should do it in french also maybe italian also is critical yeah okay uh, and and also we have to deal with the problem that we we um, i mean i'm talking about Bob Beck in this program and i'm i'm really happy to do it because uh, we've had uh, a program and we're going to have also a, a a patient who will uh, te- uh, will um, bring his testimony on well, how it ah, improved oh, we'll have a patient okay. who will do that But we also have to be very careful about what we're saying exactly because we could have problems if we pretend it's going to cure anything. Uh, We'll have Uh, have all the medical world falling on us and hitting on us. So that's that's a difficulty too. So uh, a question then, um, how much time do you spend to solder all the pieces of equipment uh, on one device? Do you have an idea the time it takes to your partner now and how it took to you or your daughters before? Uh, okay, when when daughters uh, did it, uh, they spent uh, usually the the daughter uh, she went to office and she she was there for several hours and she finished maybe ten twenty devices twelve devices. So it's uh, really a little bit uh, not difficult, time consuming, time consuming. Yeah, but uh, lately lately I made an arrangement with the factory. Um, so they elect- uh, uh, by the robot they do it uh, all you know the PCB where where the parts are they are doing with the robot so uh, I received the already made PCB with all the parts already uh, soldered I must solder only I think seven or eight uh, wires that's all and put it in in the box uh, all together. Okay, so that, that you, yeah, you gain it's, time it's by doing easier it. easier now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not, but the not first, so time-consuming. Yeah, it was the first one you did it all by yourself. We soldered everything. And... Yeah, yeah. No, it took, oh, my God, okay. At that okay, time? It's 30, 30 minutes minimum for one device. Okay, this is not much uh, compared to what we did here because we we spent the whole day doing one device. <laughs> <laughs> so we really okay. gained something. Okay. Okay, because uh, when we're not used to do it, but what we, we uh, I told you what we did, we had big uh, workshops, people were coming there and each of them were yeah. selling their own thing, uh-huh, but it took, uh-huh, took the uh-huh. whole okay, day okay, for yeah, one yeah. device. So really, we're, 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 uh, it, it was uh, a pleasure to find somebody who would do it for us. <laughs> okay, but so on the other hand, uh, it's really enjoyable to do something, some device for you, maybe to use it. If you spent all, all week, all all afternoon it's not a problem but if you're doing this for business it's it's a little bit a problem yeah, yeah i understand that but it's just real that it's true that in the spirit of bob beck uh, the idea was that each person would do his own device because it was really take back your power so i'm i'm making yeah, myself yeah, the, yeah. the device that i'm mm-hmm. going to use and nobody does it for me and it's me that that is responsible for my own health that was also the spirit but i yeah, i, I noticed that right. you know, right. the problem is that as you mentioned uh people don't really know how to solder and when they put too much of it well it will make a, a short circuit it everything yeah, yeah and yeah. if they don't do it enough yeah. it can melt away and then the device uh, just breaks down after a few uses so that was really difficult because they brought it back to me so i had to open it again and and uh, do all the the checking again and solder <laughs> and it was really a hard work okay do you, do you see something else you would like to add about the back about your work with this and uh, i don't know uh, just uh, no, because um, um, 
I tried to push in via, via advertising Bob Beck, uh, United States, just in the United States. And um, I, I just want to say to people, stay open-minded. Stay open-minded because um, why? Why I'm saying this? Because I pushed through, through, via Facebook, I pushed uh, advertising uh, the Bob Beck device. And uh, uh, under the, underneath, I saw comments and uh, they really, they, they wasn't nice. There wasn't nice comments, and uh, unfortunately, between us are still people very closed and close-minded. Uh, stay open-minded, okay? And then, then that's for people. Try it. Try it. Uh, try everything, not just more back device. Well, whatever you think is possible to to help you. Yeah, that, that's true. That uh, we cannot say to people that this will cure you, but what we can say is just try it. And if it doesn't work, well, it doesn't work. But you will have tried, tried it because with Lyme disease we have uh, a great difficulty to to heal people. The people are not cured. And antibiotics sometimes don't work, and and uh, you cannot just uh, push away things and not try them if it could if it can help you. Uh, if you see something else to add, that would be the moment. No, it's okay. Use it, test it. Uh, it's not a cure. It's just a device, experimental device. Um, so um, that's all. Stay open-minded. That's all. So, Bojir Dagrils, thank you very much for uh, this interview. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you to having me. <laughs> Bye. Be well to all, to all the listeners in France. Okay, thank you. Bye. Mm-hmm.